Hey, hey, I wanted to do a shout out to some recent subscribers. Jose Pedro, El Falconer, Robert Fuller, Lucas Bialahian, Lucas B, uh, pretty cool. Uh, glad to have all of y'all joining the channel. And if you look and I have less than a thousand subscribers, I need you to subscribe because I'm trying to get to a thousand. Subscribe, then undo the bell thing so that you don't get notifications, that's fine. But I'd really appreciate it helping me get to a thousand. And if you want a shout out, just leave a comment saying, hey, I, I subscribed, can I get a shout out? And I'll do that in the next video. Now on to your regularly scheduled programming. This one's about 3PO. Hey, hey, working on 3PO some more. And I found something that's pretty cool. They're called Chicago screws. And I found these completely independently. Adam Savage, in my cave, I'm covering some of my favorite tools, and today's tool is, in fact, a bit of hardware. A bit of hardware that is an excellent cosplay hack, and you might not have known its name, so I'm going to tell you its name. In cosplay, we frequently end up with costumes where we have parts that have to hinge on other parts, but also have to be super low profile. Um, a key aspect of this is like an Iron Man costume or a Stormtrooper costume where you have piece of jointed armor uh, and you don't want to put like a nut a bolt and a nut there because where it sticks out it's either going to be this ugly detail pointing out or it's going to be a painful detail pointing in and the solution in those cases is exemplified by these large flathead screws they are one half of what's called a Chicago screw and oh I'm about to change your life okay this is the basic Chicago screw yeah, independently. So anyway, I've been working on 3PO here and I was redoing the arms and I've got some those 3D printed arms I showed in a recent video. Well, it was a little ways back now. I've put a lot of layers of primer on them and then I even did some paint, but I think I'm gonna have to sand this down a little bit more. But to connect the two pieces together, I decided I would use Chicago screws. So these are 12 millimeter Chicago screws. Uh, got them off Amazon of all places, right? And they are screwed in to the inside and go through to the outside and they're little posts. So they should be pretty easy to turn. You can see here that they are pretty smooth. They actually screw together internally. So it's two little pieces that screw together where the bolt part is on the inside. So it's kind of like a little tiny short screw and then a really big nut for that. It's really hard to show. Just look up Chicago screws. There you go. So there's the two parts back to back and then basically the little bolt screws inside this part and it becomes a Chicago screw. So yeah, 12 millimeters worked pretty well. Looks pretty good. I also have something else. Let me grab that. Ha! Here we go. Glazing putty. So this is the Bondo brand, but there are lots of brands for it. Use whichever one you like. There's a big old thing of it. But what it does is it lets you kind of coat this and get a much smoother finish. So uh, it needs to be sanded quite a bit there, but you can see there's some parts that were built up, but this is all 3D printed, but you can kind of see the ridges there if I get the lighting right. So you can see some of the ridges on there, but on the parts that I use some of the glazing putty on, it's a lot harder to see. I still need to go back and sand it. I'm not real happy with how smooth this has turned out but it's much better because of that. Layers of primer and a little bit of glazing putty kind of spread over there and then that sanded back down. And then, yes, Chicago screws for the joint. I think it will work very well. They don't extend inside. What I've got on the old arms that I've worn many, many times have just little 
bolts going in there with a nut on the inside. I don't really like that, um, but I should be able to glue this little knob here that goes on the bolt. Should be able to attach that to a Chicago screw and have that, and then still have the screw portion on the inside. So just kind of the update. Arms are coming along, there's one. The other one is not quite so complete. I did not get the top part printed out, but I've been working on smoothing out the rest. And you can see it, it looks okay. From a distance, it'll look all right. Yeah, I don't like those ridges. Ruffles have ridges, but these should not. So we will work on that some more. But quick update on 3PO arms. Continue to work on it. I did the hands, those are 3D printed. Not really any glazing putty on those, just uh, some primer. I've done the all clad and the clear coat on top of that. Then I want to do the automotive clear coat that's tinted on top of that to turn it gold. But for now, those hands can be there. Looks pretty good. It's not bad. Questions, comments, what do you think? What do you want to see next on 3PO? Or do you just want me to work on it some more? And then I can do the next step. But Chicago screws completely independent idea. No need to look around anywhere else. Um, you heard it here first. Uh, we will talk to you later. Stay cool and have a good one.